Good morning, everyone. It's Andrew with the Market Mindset. Uh, it's been about a year, but we're here to catch up with Headwater Gold and the President and CEO, Caleb Strope. Uh, boy, you guys have had a, a very busy year. There's a lot to get through, but let's take a big step backward and remind people uh, where you are, as well as a number of projects, but also, I guess, the, the, the good deal you have that sets you up to be able to do as much work as you've done this year. Yeah, well, thanks, Andrew. Thanks. It's good to be back. Thanks for uh, reaching out and giving me a holler. Uh, lots going on, uh, obviously. Uh, we've got uh, a big season just wrapping up right now. We just got the la last rig off the mountain. We drilled about 17,000 meters on four different projects in two different states in about a five-month time period. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we're kind of coming up for air and finally have some new results to talk about. But uh uh, maybe stepping back just a little bit big picture. So Headwater is an exploration company focused on gold exploration in the Western U.S., specifically the Great Basin with Nevada as our focus. Uh, and that big pace of activity is largely made possible due to uh, our business model and a deal that we'd structured with uh, Newcrest originally, now in the hands of Newmont, uh, whereby they can earn interest into individual projects by spending money on exploration. And we have four of these earn in type deals with Newmont and uh, a couple of three of those were uh, drilled this year, uh, including one of our own projects uh, self-funded. So uh, we're just coming out of that season, as I said, with uh, the first results coming in. So it's exciting times. So two questions. I might, I might be wrong. The cumulative amount for like the whole investment is like 175 million. It's huge. If everything proceeded between step one, two, three, four, phase, each phase. Yeah. So each, they're all built project specific and they're all phased per yes. project. Okay. Uh, so yeah, but the dollar numbers, you know, I'd encourage you to, to go have a look at the table. I won't read out the table. Of no, the sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, structure structures uh, in uh, milestones, but it, it's a significant amount of capital required for them to ultimately earn all the way in. And now a follow-up question is, but with that takeover, have you found uh, like how's that transition for you guys gone as well? Are they are they like nuanced? Are they pretty pleased? Are they like, oh no, we're we're really into this as well? Yeah, I mean it, it's 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 early days, but so far so good. I mean, uh, yeah. it really has been uh, remarkably seamless from 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 my seat, uh, and I'm I'm quite happy uh, with the direction things are heading, and it would appear that their commitment remains uh, basically the same as. Uh, the, the previous from from Newcrest. So uh, obviously these are all earned in deals and yeah. subject to, uh, you know, new results and, and milestones. But uh, we're very happy with the direction the projects are headed. And uh, I, I haven't heard anything to the contrary from our, from <laughs> yeah. our partners. So yes, and, you, and you've had some great results as well. So yeah. uh, we'll get into to those because the great thing with having like any portfolio, whether it's your stock portfolio or a portfolio of projects is, uh, and also this backing is you get to go do the R&D or the drilling and, and to see, okay, what's what's our model working out? Is this project moving forward? Is this not moving forward? And you've got very early days of, of some results uh, to know where you're focusing even further now. So 100%, that, that is our model. As we built this company around that vision of adding value through early stage exploration, making new gold discoveries in a jurisdiction where the majors want to operate in a commodity that they want to mine, high-grade gold, being at the top of the list in Nevada, being a premier jurisdiction. Now, it's easier said than done to go out and make brand new, you know, high-impact gold discoveries. Yes. Right? <laughs> so the the I think one of the critical things that you need to do is take a portfolio approach, understand that you're not going to have a 100% hit rate uh, on all of these projects. But you need to spread that risk across a number of different opportunities and, uh, you know, be very disciplined about the, the approach to test these things, move on when they're underperforming and double down when they're performing. And that's what we're doing uh, across the whole portfolio. And especially in a, in a period where the junior capital markets have been a little bit softer than previous years. Yes. Uh, this partnership with Newmont is a really critical component to, to make that business model achievable. Yes. I mean, it is a challenging market for, for juniors, uh, which I think is a bit, a bit surprising, but to be able to have weathered a lot of the, the hard parts already, uh, gold itself, uh, you know, we're still kind of 
back and forth between the two, $2,000. But I mean, I think most people feel pretty optimistic that that flight to safety and, and as an asset is strong as well, that, uh, it, you know, it's, it's very few companies have that kind of support from such a major. And that is a big breath of fresh air to anybody who, who wants to look for and narrow down uh, companies that have significant milestones and support. No, that's another uh, critical piece to our business model where, you know, I, I'm a, uh, and we all are big believers in the long-term fundamentals of the precious metals markets. Um, but timing these cycles is not something that's easy to do. I mean, if I could do that, I would be trading <laughs> options somewhere rather yeah, than yeah. trying to find gold in the ground. Yeah. Right. Uh, but if you can build a business model that uh, can maintain activity across a significant period of time on a bunch of high quality assets, uh, those cycles come back around and, you know, we don't know where we're at. We might be right at the base of a breakout. Uh, it might take a little bit longer than, than we all hope. But we've structured this thing to be able to survive and still be around and be in a position to succeed uh, when it does eventually come around. I think another valuable lesson, just even to say, I mean, we have a lot of new retail uh, people that are interested in mining, is that you're not married to a project either. If it doesn't hit the criteria, you move on. Uh, and that's a if someone's even looking at just a stock in their portfolio, and they, they go, oh, I really want this one to go up. I really like it. I'm really rooting for them. Sometimes you have to let it go. Don't you, you know? So it's the same thing with projects is, you know, you had a thesis, you check it out, go, okay, this one is meeting the grade. This one, eh, maybe not so much. No, it's absolutely required. Um, you know, and that's one of the things about a portfolio approach that allows you to honestly review these things and make technically based decisions rather than, oh boy, well, if this one failed, you know, we wouldn't have anything else to talk about. So now we better uh, figure out a way uh, to, you know, put on a brave face and go back and promote this. We don't have to do that. We don't want to do that. We want to make new gold discoveries. Uh, yes. We want our shareholders, uh, you know, to understand that and, uh, you know, be along for the ride. So without going into too much detail, but what tell us about then this, the, especially the, the main four, and you've got what, I think 12 different projects, but the four are kind of the main staple right now that over this past year that you've had uh, a lot of work on. Yep. So we drilled four of them this year and about half of the meters across those four projects went into our Spring Peak project in Nevada. That's uh, in many ways sort of our flagship asset. Uh, it's a new discovery that we made uh, just a couple of years ago uh, and it's been performing quite well. Uh, so I put out some news uh, early, late last week, uh, updating kind of across the whole portfolio uh, with some initial results that are coming in uh, now from this this big season of drilling. We've got about half of the results in from Spring Peak, uh, but just those half of the results uh, already are showing that we took this from uh, a new discovery on basically one section of drilling and now have been able to expand that in both directions to the northeast and southwest over about a 350 meter zone uh, down to over 300 meters in, in dip extent, uh, hitting, uh, you know, mineralized structures with uh, uh, significant high grade veining in them. Uh, over that full length and width, we're, we're seeing epithermal veins with over five grams per ton gold in them. And one other key thing that came out of this round of drilling is once we began to step uh, along striking down dip uh, and hit in basically every drill hole, we hit the target structure. Uh, even before we had assays, we had enough confidence uh, to step off in one big step out drill hole, about a 400 meter uh, step out to the northeast, uh, targeting the you know potential extension of, of this structural zone and we hit veins. Uh, obviously, we, we were still waiting on assays for those, so we don't know exactly how significant this is. Uh, but just the fact that we hit the mineralized structure we were aiming at, yeah, and it's got veins uh, that you know look to be part of the same epithermal system, 400 meters along strike, really does kind of allow you to step back and uh, envision some serious scale potential to this one. Yes. Uh, and that's going to make for the modeling quite exciting. I mean, and, and you know, you, you've, I think you did 25 holes, so there's yeah. a lot more to come in still. Mm -hmm. But that is a big, strong indicator with such a large step out that uh, uh, the reason, I can only say resource, but that it's growing at a, at a pretty strong rate. Right. And, and that was, uh, you know, really, we delivered on both of our 
goals of this Spring Peak program, which was one, to demonstrate that we understand the geometry of the mineralization uh, in and around that principal discovery area uh, and, you know, test the continuity right within that corridor, and then also step out and begin to show some, you know, vision of, of some scale to the project. So I think we, we hit both of them. Perfect. Beautiful. And like I said, you'll wait for more information and then I'm sure you'll then have to, you know, absorb it all. And then you'll be really uh, kind of narrowing down for your drill targets for what, it's spring, spring, probably. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll be out there. Uh, yeah. Late spring, early Please. summer. Next year. So then, okay, then the other projects uh, to highlight, because uh, that, that one's fantastic. What, what should we know about you know, the, the next three? Yeah, so we drilled three more. Uh, one, our Midas North project, also in yes. Nevada. Uh, we're still waiting on assays, uh, but the, the geology and the geologic model and targeting model out there broadly appears to be holding up quite well. So, you know, we drilled underneath uh, high level alteration, what you'd expect to see at the very top of a system. Uh, doesn't have a lot of gold at the top, but that's also predicted from the model. We're not looking to target directly off of gold. We're, we're using gold uh, in some ways, but we're relying more on geology, geophysics, and uh, alteration mapping and zonation to try to find structures that have the, the high-grade gold potential at depth. And so we drilled a lot of holes at depth this year underneath the right kind of alteration, and we hit some veins and alteration uh, right where our model predicted. Uh, so it's early days for sure. Uh, it's very difficult in these gold systems to predict uh, grade based on you know visuals. But uh, just the fact that we've seen have seen uh, the right kind of alteration persisting to depth uh, is encouraging already. So we'll see there. And then there was two more projects that we drilled, uh, which were uh, basically we had two projects in a standalone Oregon portfolio right along the Oregon Idaho border, um, which was always sort of a, a side uh, initiative that we had running where there's a beautiful belt of epithermal mineralization up along the Oregon Idaho border. And we were able to acquire some fantastic looking projects uh, through claim staking did one round of early scout drilling ourselves and had quite a bit of success. Now, these two programs, one funded by Newmont, one funded by ourselves, uh, were both designed to show either conclusively either way. Do we have a big high grade system uh, that persists at depth and that will, will justify, you know, shifting a focus into a new jurisdiction uh, or not? And we drilled, you know, the, the number of holes that was required to test that. And we're not seeing what we need to see to justify us continuing to move forward on that. I mean, you mentioned this as well. You know, we have a limited amount of money and time and, uh, you know, just overall, we can't do everything. So yes. we really need to focus on uh, the projects and the exploration initiatives that really demand our attention and uh, got to be w willing to say we're not seeing what we need to see. Yes. And I, that's why it's so important. You know, I would say someone's got a thesis, they stick to it. They, they don't have to chase after it. And, you know, you could maybe some spend 10, 15, 20 million there and they might find something, but that's maybe set for someone else. I mean, you can yeah. sell it off. Someone else can, can focus in on it, but it isn't meeting your model right now. Uh, and, and it's great. You already have success over, over with swearing. So why not focus there? That's right. No, yeah, I mean, you can, you, you're never going to be able to conclusively prove that there's not a, a you know, million ounce gold deposit there. Uh, but really, we need to see projects continuing to follow a trajectory uh, that demonstrates success. And we're not afraid to move on. It's part of the business model meant to be dynamic. Excellent. And then what do you think? I mean, we're coming into the end of year. I mean, there's tax loss selling, there's all sorts of stuff. There's pressure on all stocks right now. We're not, we never really worry too much about what the price of a stock is. Uh, we always look to see what the news is and, you know, are, are they hitting milestones? Are they moving forward? And, and you guys have done all of that. What uh, is something someone can use as, as a barometer moving into the new year here, like the first quarter, second quarter to go, okay, you guys hit everything you said you're going to do here. This is great. Let's, let's see what you got for the, for the next quarter. Yeah. So we're, I mean, we're trading in a, you know, typical pattern with a, a lot of the sector right now and I've ex experienced a bit of tax loss selling this, you know, this fall and into the winter um, but as you said, you know, we're continuing to, to move forward and, and, you know, hit our milestones. And one key thing is we don't have to dilute uh, to raise equity to advance 
at least the Newmont funded portion of the portfolio. Yeah. So, you know, we expect to see, uh, you know, with continued support from Newmont, a significant amount of, of drilling continue into the new year and uh, won't have to, to, you know, be subject to the capital markets in the, in the very short term to rush out and raise money and dilute our shareholders. We can continue to advance the story um, and, you know, look to add, add value through exploration. Yeah. And that's, I mean, that piece there uh, is a, is absolutely uh, critical for someone who's looking at the, uh, at especially mining co companies, because most have to go out, get more money, and and you know keep the R and D going. Uh, this this allows you guys a lot of breathing space, a lot of room, and where you know obviously you're concerned with stock price, so you have to think about it. But it isn't a focus of oh my god, where are we going to do the next raise, and it's going to be at this yeah. price. Uh, you can focus on the business of drilling and analyzing the data. Yeah, no, for sure. In, in our business, no matter what, you're always kind of looking at uh, the, the the valuation and, you know, everybody needs to raise capital at some point. Um, but we just, the, the key thing is the bulk of the activity can be funded through the earning agreements in a tough market. And any money that we raise, will you know, we can raise significantly less, dilute significantly less, uh, and scale up if we want to increase our 100% uh, exploration as well, depending on conditions. So we have a lot of flexibility there. Excellent. Well, Caleb, we've covered a lot. It's been a year. Congratulations on hitting uh, so much good work. There's lots more uh, results coming out. I, I'm sure it's hard to tell, like you know, but I'm sure the next couple of weeks, months, the rest of those results, I imagine, should, should be flowing in. Yeah, uh, it shouldn't be yeah too long, but probably you know early into the new year, I think we'll 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 get a, uh, a the the rest of them kind of rolling in. Excellent. Well, thanks for much for giving us the update. We're looking forward to you know seeing how things progress in the new year, and uh, we'll catch up with you then. All right. Thanks a lot. All right. Take care.